How do you feel about this rain? Not gonna get any drier. It's fine with me. Here we are in sunny Loudonville, Ohio for the start of the Mohican 100 NUE Series race number three. Should be fun out there today. How are you? How do you feel about this? About this? Yeah. Well, I know it's going to stop, so I feel good about hearing that. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll see how it turns out in the beginning. I don't think it's going to be, uh, it'll be a little bit exciting, right? Slipping and sliding, I don't think. I'm not sure. But I know underneath the woods is pretty uh, hard pack, and you know probably the roots will be a little slick. So you gotta. Did you do anything different for wet conditions? No. Nah. No, not really. No, I just came the way I came. How do you, how you feel about the rain? Not good. It's wet and it's cold. Do you any, yeah, do anything different to prepare tire-wise in anticipation or? Nope. Was just hoping there wouldn't be rain. How long do you think this is gonna take you? I have no idea. With the rain, a while, probably eight or more hours. I'm doing the 100K, but I'm thinking eight or more hours. I'm trying to find the darn road so, you know, I don't get lost. But look, at I can't even see my computer, so what's the... Um, you doing nice. the, the long race or the short race? Well, you know, since I signed up on Thursday, I'm doing the long one. No, I've never done it. So I thought, hey, <clears throat> this would be fun. Something new. I think it's going to be fun in the rain. <laughs> no, it's going to be miserable in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling great. Just take it easy. It's gonna be a little slippery, for sure. Do you do anything set up? Uh, set up one. I left a little meteor front tire on there, but I know the trail, so I'm pretty good. Taking it easy all day. <laughs> How do you feel about wet roots? These are great. They're awesome. <laughs> Having a great time. Look at me. <laughs> Bike race ever. We're gonna Why'd see how this goes. <laughs> Why did you decide to do this race? Uh, you know what? My teammates uh, guilt tripped me into doing it. Uh, I race on the road, and they're trying to convert me to uh, ride mountain bikes. So this will be my first experience what, in the, the rain. Uh, to finish with no incidents. Uh, I'm doing the 100k. So uh, we'll see if we can finish in under eight hours. That'd be a good goal for me in the rain. I loved it. It was awesome. Actually, the single track here is amazing. I wasn't expecting it to be so great, but it is. So enjoyable. This is my first 100 mile mountain bike ride. And, and how was that? Um, it was pretty brutal. <laughs> I think the conditions were, um, made it especially difficult. I was told I would have a good time. My friend convinced me to go, and he said it was going to be a good time. And um, maybe tomorrow I'll feel like that.
I did it again. Two years ago, I said this might be my last. I did it again. Mark Cranz. Why'd you do it again? Mark Cranz? Because this is tough. It's all tough. Okay, so, so give me an idea of how Look at that. Biggest smile of the rock garden for the day. Right. <laughs> it is. I appreciate that you're enjoying yourself. This is what I get for I'm up for a mountain bike race. <laughs> I do! You were the guys, this is your first race? Yeah. How's it going? It's going pretty well. It's a little wet. <laughs> it's not raining. What do you normally, what do you normally ride? Drop bars. Drop bars. Yeah. Oh, new to this. You're doing great. What are you doing here? <laughs> Got it. Barely. This is, I mean, the hardest, and I've only done two Mohicans, but this was a lot harder than the last one I did. I mean, <laughs> nine hours and 15 minutes is what it took to win the single speed, which was, I mean, it's probably the mud, partly, but of all the races I've done, I've never had a closer battle with Oh, you got me by 15 minutes. No, no, no. It wasn't that but close. But halfway through the race, <laughs> halfway through the race, he was 50 feet behind me on a gravel climb. He caught back up to me. I was. I, I was have on. never. I've never had like I've I've either been beat by a lot or I've won by a lot. I've never had like a, a tight. You know, it's been it was a tight battle. Give me all the gravel climbs. No rocks. <laughs> yeah, yeah buddy. Take a bite. Yeah, there were. I was riding with four women for about four hours, so it's been a good day. Good. Now we'll we're slipping together. and sliding to the finish. Yes, we will. Thank you. We're surviving. How's it going now? Well, I was pleasantly pleased that this somehow found its way here. So I gotta say, this was a great job by whoever brought everything to the sweet stop. We're surviving. We're muddy, but excited to finish the race. We're gonna what keep do you going. What you think about now? It's not that crazy. It is uh, harder than I thought. Maybe that's because of the mud, but uh, I think we made it through the technical spots. I'm really good at climbing up things, so let's hope for some climbs and oh some long descents. The hell did I sign up for? It was hard. Harder than I thought. <laughs> you knew what you did. I did. I know. Was it, or was it a change in the course? Um, it was good. Oh, I had a lot of input on that. For the more single track. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I had a blast, but it's just so like uh, peanut buttery. Like once you got out of the state park and yeah. I never knew um, until I crossed the finish line that I was in the lead, so I had no idea. Yeah. So, yeah, such a fun race. I um, really, really felt good on the single track. I didn't know how the trails, like our trails back home, if it rains, you can't ride them for like two days, but the ones here were just so great in the rain, so I just felt like it was really fun to just kind of rip it on the single track, so, and then the rest was brutal, but such a good race. <laughs> Five miles of skateboarding. <laughs> Five miles. <laughs> oh. When I saw you on the trail, you were pretty close to Brody. Were you able to catch up or what happened at the end of the race there? No, I think the gap at the end was about a minute and a half. It was I was closing it down. Um, really pushing it on the descents, and I, I flatted, front flatted, so I stopped. Luckily, it sealed, but it was like really low, and I just kind of rode it in. But uh, yeah, he was he was fast. 
gave me a little burst of energy when you started following me. I was like, oh, I can't, I gotta like focus. I don't wanna like look bad on camera or anything. I'm just kind of getting into it, yeah. I did a few gravel events last year, but all under that four hour point. And that's kind of my longest event I've ever done. The last, the last 40K, I was like, there's someone like 10 seconds behind me. I'm like looking over my shoulder the whole time. Like someone's gonna catch me. There's all the deer in the forest. They jump across, I hear movement. And I'm like, oh no, someone's about to catch me. No, 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 no. No, I thought that would be <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Bananas all day. Lansky from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Uh, Robin. Right on. Yeah. Right before him, Michael Drackett from Kansas City, Missouri. That was tough. <laughs> oh, that was tough. That was uh, yeah, mentally yeah, tough, and there was so much yeah, single track, and I'm sure you can tell. By my face that there was a ton of mud and uh yeah it was uh, a little bit more than i bargained for but it was awesome yeah um this was my first 100 miler um and i think i like it but this one was a tough one are you gonna do more of the uh series yeah i've got two more uh set up trying to win the series so we'll see which ones are you doing uh shenandoah and then so one in pennsylvania and one in virginia our wilderness 101 yeah Oh, oh really Tom, exciting. it was brutal. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that, I was just saying, I didn't think I would be out there that long. And I was out there a long time. Like yeah. right. <laughs> uh, it was okay, man. It was very pleasant. Very, very pleasant. <laughs> well, I don't know. You know, like, what do you do? You got to look around and go, you know, oh, it's beautiful out here. Because if you don't, it's, it's, it's daunting, right? That was awesome. I just finished 100 miles. Just right now. And that was brutal. But that was awesome. We'll do it again. Yeah. Oh, you said your videos are garbage. I saw your videos. <laughs> <laughs> if it didn't help one bit, they're not helping. Go back and watch this video a few more times now. Maybe it'll help. It won't. <laughs> oh, God. How you doing? <laughs> not sure if I'll do that again, <laughs> but maybe. <laughs> Haven't decided. I'll decide tomorrow morning. You had a great she race. She did awesome. I did have an okay race, surprisingly. <laughs> But at the moment, I don't have, want to ride that thing again. <laughs> no. We're both from Toronto. We're both from Toronto. This race has been on my bucket list for like five years. Finally did it. Oh, I gotta, I'm freezing. I'm gonna go. But done. Done and dusted. That was sweet. Way to go, girl. Wow. Way to go. So, High five. I was oh, wow. That was tough. <laughs> it wasn't that great a shape coming into this, but pushed through it. Got it done. I would have not expected Ohio to be so great, actually, so I'm super excited. Like, I wish, I hope that my teammates come back with me in the future. It's such a great place to ride, right? Like, it's amazing. It was so much fun. The single track was amazing. I don't think I've ever rode that much single track up front at an ultra endurance race before. Like, even, like, in State College at the Wilderness, you just don't get the chance I don't know, it's a lot of gravel on the front end, so it's like pretty awesome. Yeah, it's beautiful. That was awesome. Super accomplishment, man. Awesome. Best fans, best race in North America. Mmm. Yeah, I do. How are you doing, man? I'm a motherboard. You know what, surprisingly, I'm good. It was an amazing experience. I mean, the trails, other than the fact that it rained, the trails are spectacular. The event is run, it's run so well. This is a great destination for a mountain biker. I think I'm dead. Went uh, four miles off course, so did 104.9. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs>
out, bro. <laughs> did it. Nice job, dude. No, no. Man, wait a minute. Where right is there, he? There he is, right there. there. What? Uh, man, this Nothing. is for you, man. You're the last yeah. of the Mohicans. Thanks, buddy. Do you know how many people didn't finish? How many DNFs there were? And like, at one time, the DNFs were greater than the number of finishers. Congratulations, Thanks, man. Buddy. Appreciate it. Let's go. Thanks, guys. You're, you're among a select group of people, man. These guys, these guys were great. Yeah, fantastic. I appreciate really? it. I know those guys. <laughs> I know he doesn't have to guys. lie, does he? Uh, yeah, you don't have to lie. It's all right. <laughs> I know this. What's your name? Where are you from? Adam Schaup from Pittsburgh. Hell yeah. Go, baby. Thanks, guys. It was good. I saw a bike in the race? Yeah. Can you tell him again? I saw a bike in the race. Yeah. Nice job, buddy. Yeah. <laughs>